Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, again in this video we will be discussing the coding question. So our preparation series for TCS NQD 2024 is ongoing. So till now we have uploaded three coding question videos and we will be uploading aptitude question videos also in future. So make sure that if you have not subscribed to channel till now, please subscribe it because regularly we are uploading videos. First of all, we will be covering different different coding questions that might be asked in TCS NQT. Then we will be covering the aptitude questions. So if you are not present on this channel till now, make sure to subscribe it as well as hit the like button for this video because your every like and every subscribe button gives us the motivation for making more such videos. So make sure that you watch this entire playlist before your exam on 15th Jan and make sure that this video you are watching this field till the end so that you can get to know the type of the questions that can be asked in the TCS NQT. So guys, now let's start this video. Okay, so guys, first of all, we will be discussing the question, then the approach of this question. And finally, we will be discussing the code part of this question. Okay, so let's just read the question first. So given an array of integers, find an index such that the sum of elements at the lower indexes is equivalent to the sum of the elements at the higher indexes. If no such index exists, return minus one. So let's just understand this question with the help of example. So for example, this is our array given that is minus 7, 1, 5, 2, minus 4, 3, 0. This is our input array. Index 3 is an equilibrium index because we need to find the equilibrium index. Now it is saying that index 3 is the equilibrium index. This is index 3. So how it is the equilibrium index? So what is an equi equilibrium index? If at that index, the sum of the elements on the left side is equal to the sum of the elements of the right side. So so this is the equilibrium in index. So what is the sum of what are the elements at the left side of in, of this index? So these are the elements at the left side of the index and these are the elements at the right side of this index. So what is the sum of th these elements on the left? So it is minus seven plus one plus five. So it is minus one. So all the elements to the left of this index has some minus one. Similarly, all the elements on the right side of this index has some minus four plus three plus zero. This is minus one. So if you, you can see here that this at this index three index all the elements on the left side of this index have minus one sum and all the elements at the right side of this index has minus one so it means the sum of the left elements are equivalent to the sum of the right elements therefore this third third index is the therefore this third index is the what you will say equilibrium index okay so this is how an equilibrium index is defined so in this case the equilibrium index was present okay so therefore we have printed the we have printed the three is the equilibrium index because this is third index. So zero, one, two, three. So this is the third index, but there might be some arrays in which there is no equilibrium index present. Okay. So in that case, we need to return minus one. In that case, we need to return minus one. Okay. So I hope now the question is clear to you. It's a, this question is slightly on the easier side. So let's just see the approach of this question. And if you are found, find, finding this video helpful or you have any doubts, you can always write in the comment section that yes, this video was helpful or you have this doubt. Okay. So this all gives us motivation for making such videos. Okay. So now let's just move towards the approach part. Okay. So now let's just see the approach of this question, how we will do it. So this is our input array that is given to us minus seven, one, five, two, minus four, three, zero. We need to find the equilibrium index and what is equ equilibrium index? Equilibrium index is nothing, but the sum of the elements to the left of those index is equal to some of the elements to the right of those index. Okay. If that is the case, then it is an equilibrium index. So what we'll do in this approach, what we'll do, we will make, we will form two arrays. One array will contain left sum. Next array will contain right sum. So you will be confused at what this left sum array will do. So let's just see. So see, while we are iterating this array, first of all, we will be filling the left sum array and then we'll be filling the right sum array. Okay. So we are, once we are iterating this array, that is minus one, one, five, two. Okay. So for left sum, we will be iterating from left to right and for right sum, we will be iterating from right to left this array. So let's just fill the left sum array first. Okay. So minus seven. So we are at this index that is we are at the current index minus seven. Now, what is the sum of the elements to the left of this seven minus seven? So since it is the first element, so the sum of the elements to the left of this uh, element is zero. Okay. So we will place zero here. Now we are coming to the next index that is one. Okay, that is one. So what is the sum of the elements to the left of this one? Okay, to the left of this one. This is minus seven. Because we won't include that particular element in the sum. We only want the sum of the elements towards the left of that element. 
so this sum of the elements to the left of this one is only minus 7 so therefore we have placed minus 7 here now we are at 5 okay we are at 5 now what is the sum of the elements to the left of this 5 it is minus 7 plus 1 that is minus 6 right i hope you are with me and how we are calculating this sum because every time whenever we are at index we don't do not need to again go back and calculate the sum of all the elements we can maintain a variable that is sum sum left okay sum left we can maintain so this is a variable initially it will be 0 so 0 then it will be minus 7 it will like whenever we are uh, processing an index we can always add the value to this particular variable so let's just start over i hope the idea is clear to you let's just quickly start over so that you know that how to do it so currently once we are iterating the array we are at minus 7 so sum left will be 0 so we have placed 0 here now we are at next index that is this one element at one element we are there so what we'll do we'll do sum left minus 7 here so it will be it will contain now minus 7 okay it will contain minus 7 we are at 1 so it will do minus 7 so after before moving to the next index we will add this one to the sum so it will become minus 6 okay so we will add minus 6 here now before moving to the next element we will add plus 5 to it so after it it will become minus 1 so at this 2 this sum left will contain minus 1 now we are at minus 4 uh, now before moving to minus 4 we will add 2 to it so minus 1 plus 2 equivalent to 1 so we have 1 here now before moving to 3 we will add minus 4 okay so 1 minus 4 is this all is contained in this sum left variable so 1 minus 4 is minus 3 okay so minus 3 it is there so till here it is minus 3 now again we will add what we will do before moving to 0 we will add this 3 to it so minus 3 plus 3 it becomes 0 so we have added 0 here oh yes so so uh, so this index in the sum left represents the uh, sum of the elements to the left of current index so if we are talking about this 0 so all the elements before it all the elements before it has some 0 only so minus 7 plus 1 minus 6 minus 6 plus 5 is minus 1 minus 1 plus 2 is 1 1 minus 4 is minus 3 minus 3 plus 3 is 0 so therefore this this value represents the sum of the elements to the left of this element okay so i hope this is clear to you the left sum similarly we will do with right sum just one difference that in right sum what we will do we will traversing from right to left from backwards we will start like this so again we will take any variable right left okay initially it will be zero so we know that uh, it will contain if we are at current element it will contain the sum of the elements to the right of that element so if it is it is the last element uh, of course it will be zero so right left will be zero so here we will place zero now before moving to three what we'll do we will add this zero to this right left so zero plus zero is zero only so again to uh, sum of the elements to the right of three is zero okay now again before moving to minus four what we'll do we will add this three to this right left so we will do plus three equivalent to three so it is three now again moving towards 2 what we'll do we will do 3 we will add this minus 4 to this right left so 3 minus 4 is minus 1 so we will do minus 1 here okay now again going to 5 again before going to 5 we will add this 2 to minus 1 so it will become minus 1 plus 2 will become 1 okay so it will become 1 here okay again before going to 1 we will add this 5 to it so 1 plus 5 will become 6 1 plus 5 will become 6 here okay so again going to minus 7 we will add 6 minus 7 minus 1 so 6 minus 7 equivalent to minus 1 here so we will add minus 1 here but i have done mistake in the last element only so 6 plus 1 6 plus 1 we need to do sorry okay 7 it will be in the last element i made the mistake now what we'll do we have now left some arrays and right some arrays we will do nothing we will iterate over the array from 0 to 9 0 to n we will iterate and at any index at, at any index once we have found that okay the sum of sum at that index in the left sum array and the sum at that index in the right sum array are equal are equal then we will say that that index is the equilibrium index so in this case you can see that minus 1 and minus 1 are at same position and 0 and 0 are also at same position but since we are traversing from left to right in this particular case first minus 1 first minus 1 will be first equilibrium index will be treated in this case it is third index we will simply print out i so this was the entire approach i hope the approach is clear to you okay now let's just move towards the code part okay so guys for saving time i will i have already written the code and let's just read line by line what this particular code is doing so we will first input n that is how many what is the length of the array input array then 
we will declare the arrays first is the input arrays next one is the left sum array next is right sum array and we have declared the index okay because if no equilibrium index is found we need to return minus one therefore we have initialized this equal index variable as minus one so this for loop is for taking the input in the array okay then we will first fill the left sum array as i have told you that is left sum at the current element denotes the sum of the elements to the left of the of that particular element but that particular element is not included in that sum okay remember that so we have taken a variable called left it will contain the left sum of the current element so this is the loop for find filling out the left sum array okay so initially what we'll do we will do left sum of current i equivalent to the left till now the left value so initially at first location we know that uh, the element that is present in the first position its left sum is already zero so therefore initially we have done left sum of i equivalent to left and again before going to the next position before going to the next position we are adding current element to this left sum as i've told you that before going to the next position that particular value will be added in the left sum variable okay in the left sum variable and this will continue and it will fill the left sum array similar case we need to do with the right sum array again we have taken the right variable it will contain zero we are iterating from back to starting reverse we are iterating that is last element first and then the first element okay now again I, we know that the right sum of the last element the elements that are present uh, the right elements of the last element of the array are zero only there are no right elements to the last element therefore initially only we have done right sum of i equivalent to right so that zero will go there and then again before moving to the next position before moving to the next position like this this particular value will be added first okay this particular value will be added so i hope i have made my point and this is how the right sum array is filling then what we'll do we will iterate from 0 to n because these are the number of uh, this is the length of the array and at any position we will check if the left sum of that index is equal to the right sum of that index if that is equal we have found the equilibrium index we will just set the value of equidex index variable to that particular index and then we will break from here because there is there might be possibility that there are two or three equilibrium index present in the array but we are only worried about the first uh, first index that is equilibrium index so therefore once we have found it we will be breaking it and in the end we will be simply doing c out eq index there might be a case where there are no equilibrium index present so there in that case since we have initialized this eq index with minus one therefore this variable minus one has, will be printed okay with no changes now let's just run our code so this was our input 7 minus 7 1 5 2 minus 4 3 0 so in this case our equilibrium index should come out to be as 3 okay so you can see 3 is coming let's just see a case wherein the equilibrium index should be coming out as 1 oh sorry minus 1 so 1 2 3 4 so in this case if you will check uh, 3 okay in this case also no so let's just do it 4 and let's just do it 5 okay so these are four elements in this case minus one should be coming as the equilibrium index because no okay you can see minus one is coming so this particular code will pass all the test cases that will be given to you you can always take the screenshot of this code okay i am i have explained line by line if you still have any doubts or you want some more questions you can always add in the comment section that yes we are liking this series please hit the like and subscribe button for this channel because that will motivate me to make such videos and we are continuing making these videos till the 15th of jan okay so we will be covering aptitude also currently we are focusing on coding part but we will soon start the aptitude also so be present on this channel thank you for watching this video